I am bored of stir-fried rice vermicelli. I'm going to go Chinese and make egg foo young. I'm going to, going to modify this recipe a bit, but right now I need to get the soup stock ready and I need to get the cooked meat ready. So I'm going to make one and a half cups of chicken broth. You know, I bought a whole bunch of this stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it from this. That's one and a half cups of water, and when it, once it starts boiling, I'm going to add three teaspoons of that broth flavoring in there, and then I'll have my chicken broth. This is the perfect recipe. I've been one, I bought this like a year ago, and I've been wondering what to do with it, and here's my chance. Perfect for egg for young, and I've got some eggs I need to cook, and I've got some celery I need to cook before they go bad. So, And I just uh, put this in the microwave to do. This was a last-minute decision. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cooked meat first because cooked meat is part of the egg foo young. So I'm going to go ahead and make the, uh, I have to make the chicken broth too because I, I kind of cooked this with chicken broth. I ordered a whole bunch of this online about a year ago and I thought, you know what, I need to use this, man. <laughs> so I'm, I'm making th one and a half cups, so that would be three teaspoons. I'm going to measure out three teaspoons of this and put it in that water. Okay, I added it in. I'm just going to kind of mix it really good. I think I can turn the water off. It's already done. So now I'm ready. I've got my chicken broth for the recipes. Yep. Yeah, you could also have homemade broth, like if you made a chicken soup recently, but since I don't have that, and since I'm saving my chicken bones and everything for a other recipes, I'm going to just do it this way. Okay, there's my chicken broth. Now let's go ahead and start working on um, the uh, getting the chicken cooked and ready for egg foo young. Basically, I need to cut this into thin slices to because I'm going to pan fry it. I'm going to. This is a pretty simple recipe. This is a chicken breast that I cut it from a whole chicken. So let's just get some thin slices. I have. It's partially frozen. It's easier to cut meat if you, if you cut it, especially if you're trying to cut it thin like for a stir fry, for partially frozen, so let's just get it. Yeah, there you go. Partially frozen meat is easier to cut thin. I've noticed that, and a lot of Asian dishes use thin meat. Okay, let's go. It helps to have a sharp knife. I just used the knife sharpener, but I don't know if it's really super sharp or not. This is a pretty thick chicken breast, so I, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cut it up into like four slices here. All right, there. It's ready for pan. It's, okay, now I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper and garlic powder. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's get ready. I'm gonna be pan frying this. Yeah. Get the chicken grease off my hands here. I have to prepare the meat first. I'm preparing the ingredients for egg foo young. Uh, this is a great way to use food before it goes rotten so I don't waste food. Okay, oops. Now we're going to season with some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. So let's just go ahead and do that. Oops, some garlic powder, some pepper, and this might make a great sandwich because I bought, I actually bought me some sandwich bread today. I'm going to put that in here, let's do the, oops, a little bit of garlic powder, oops, yeah, I'm not even sure I'm in the camera, I hope I am, I think I am, yep, a little bit of pepper. And some salt. Okay. And I'm going to do this for every um, piece before I'm heating up the pan. I'll do this for every piece before I stick it in the pan. So I'm not going to show you the steps, but I, I am going to be doing that for every piece before I stick it in the pan. So, yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, let me uh, get it in the range of the the uh, camera here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 
So like uh, garlic powder, pepper, <laughs> getting this all over my hand here. So. I'm actually a lefty, so let's go this way. <laughs> so I will be doing this to all of them. I'm heating up the pan right now. It's ready. Let's throw in a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil here. Uh, let me get my spatula here. And just kind of yeah, just a little bit here. That's good. And we're going to go ahead and spread it around. Actually, I didn't have to use this big pan. Oh, that's okay. I don't, that needs less more chicken I can cook here. Yeah? <laughs> Spread it around. <laughs> Get some of the oil going this way. All right. All right. I already put salt and pepper and garlic powder on all the pieces. So now let's just go ahead and start cooking. Actually, the big pan's going to work out good. I can do them all. Yeah. Here's a big one. See if I can get that in there somehow. Uh, There's a big fat chicken here. All right. Let's see if I can kind of spread this around so I can get this in here. It smells good. All this from like a five or six dollar chicken. <laughs> Put that there. So I have to have cooked meat for the egg bouillon. If you can use shrimp, um, I think you can use pork, but I don't have any of those. Um, I think I'm going to got a slight allergy to shellfish. So we're going to use chicken breast. Chicken breast from a chicken that I cut myself. Okay, we're going to cook it until it's nice and golden brown. Then we're going to turn it over and splash it with chicken broth. So, uh, let's see how it is. Oh, that's not bad. Let's cook it, make it a little bit more brown. This will make a nice Filling for egg foo young. <laughs> I've made egg foo young before. I'm kind of tired of Japanese right now. I want to go Chinese. So, Let's see if I get in a little bit closer there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, I want to kind of go. I'm left-handed, so I don't know. Maybe I picked the wrong side. Now let's see if we can turn this over. Make it a little bit browner. Go back this way. <laughs> this would all I also bought me some sandwich bread. I could make a good sandwich with this too, you know. I could um I'm actually I already froze most of the bread, so maybe I won't do that. <laughs> Just eating it plain like that with a side dish of vegetables would work out good too. So I went grocery shopping today. This is from a chicken that I cut up previously. I haven't had time to to really prepare my food because I've got this is a discord night for me and um, so I, but I just need to make something to eat today and I need to when I went through the refrigerator I noticed my celery is going to go bad if I don't make it so I need to and I've got some oh, eggs that I need to cook so I, I thought what well, I need to come up with a recipe that uses celery eggs this is perfect. <laughs> And I'm bored of stir-fried rice vermicelli. Okay, let's try turning it over now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. 
have, oh, I like that this side good. There. Nice chicken breakfast. Okay, we're going to let it brown some more. Put the heat up a little higher. Okay. I can, uh, let me see. I can add these, um, let me, let me see. All righty. And splash a little bit of chicken broth in here. Let me get my, uh, my left-handed person. I'm going to be saving some of this to make gravy for the eggs through young, too. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and cover it. There we go. About five minutes it'll be done and then I'll have my cooked meat for my uh, egg foo young. So let me just go ahead and turn that off right now. I flipped it and checked it and it's looking good. Look at that. That looks good, man. Put, I put the heat down just a little bit. It's going to be done and then I'm going to chop it up in little teeny bits. Let me go ahead and wash some dishes to get ready for the preparing the ingredients for egg foo young. Okay, I'm going to let this cool. As you can see, it's steaming. And then when it's cool, I'll be able to chop it. Uh, I do have a wooden cutting board, but it's kind of got a little bit of mold on it. And I always use this, this uh, that one. <laughs> I do have it on my Amazon wish list if anybody. I've got some more of those, but that's okay. When the, once that cools off, or I could chop it inside the, uh, the, the plate. But once it cools off, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the other ingredients. I'm going to double the recipe because I'm going to make enough to last for a while. That way I can make full use of that can of bean sprouts and some celery and stuff. Okay, I do not have um, bamboo shoots, so I'm going to use mushrooms in place of that. And I think it'll give it about, maybe even a better flavor. So what I'm going to do right now is... Um, let's go ahead and chop. It's, like I said, I'm doubling the recipe. It calls for one celery stalk, but let me get this out of the way, and I'm going to, uh, you know what, I need to, uh, hold on, let me get something to put this in. Okay, let's chop this up really good. Ah. <laughs> get everything here organized, and um, then I'll work on chopping up the other, this is going to be part of the egg food, yeah, let's cut out. Take that out. Actually, the celery is in pretty good shape. Let's cut that out. Yeah, that's good. But I definitely want to cook it now. I don't want to wait. Yeah. yeah okay. Now let's go ahead and chop this up pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and chop this up and um, so that it'll work good in egg foo young. Kind of like, yeah, let me go ahead and get more of it done here. And what I'm going to do is when I reheat the leftovers, I'll just like put it in the oven and heat it up. That'll keep it crisp. So. Okay, let me just go ahead and work on chopping this up. Okay, I chopped up the two celeries. Now let's just go ahead and get it ready. So it gets chopped up good enough so that it works for egg through young. Okay, I'm 
keep doing this until it's chopped good enough. That's pretty good there. That's pretty good. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and stick this in the um, in here. And then I have to um, chop up some more ingredients. The meat is starting to cool off, so let's just go ahead and put uh, this in here. So I'll get this all in here, then I'll work on chopping the next ingredient. The recipe calls for one cup onions, but I don't like to use as much onions as the recipe calls for because I have onions and garlic in the gas, so I think I'm going to go with a little bit less. This is something I pre-chopped and froze. Um, I might make it smaller. I don't know, let me see. Um, <laughs> I made I used about three fourths of a cup of onions. I think I'll go a little bit smaller. Simply because it'll work better for egg for young if it's a little bit smaller. But I have a fresh onion, but I'm saving that for a different recipe <laughs> that I got today. And since I already have this ready, let's go ahead and use this. Yeah, if you, with the onion still partially frozen, I'm able to chop it. If it was totally thawed out, I wouldn't be able to do that. See? This is working good. Ha! <laughs> and see, I didn't waste the onion because I froze it before it went rotten on me. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me just go ahead and throw that in with the celery. These are all going to get mixed together anyway. It goes without saying that I did wash the celery before I chopped it up, okay? And I washed these mushrooms. I, I was going to use these mushrooms in pasta primavera, but I could still make pasta primavera with carrots instead. And I could still use, maybe use less mushrooms, and it'll still be good. So I'm a creative cook. And so I, I need to get about a cup's worth here. And I'm just using these in place of bamboo shoots, and I think they'll work good. So let me just... Uh, Go ahead and chop these up. And it should come out to about a cup because I'm doubling the recipe. Yeah, this will give the egg foo young a nice flavor. Yeah, yeah. And I and if I have any mushrooms left over, I'm, I do have mushrooms. I mean, they were part of this container here. I was going to use this for pasta primavera, but. Uh, uh, but I'm not in the, you know, I don't want to, I had celery I needed to cook, and I didn't want to waste the celery, but I need to make it right away. Oh, that's the stupid phone. So anyways, um, I can do something different with pasta primavera later. So let me just go ahead and finish chopping these up. Yeah, I'll go ahead and chop these up, and uh, I need to get about a cup's worth of chopped mushrooms. Mm, looks like I'll need another one. This will this will give the egg to young a nice flavor. I think. In fact, I think I I would like it better with mushrooms and bamboo shoots. You know what? I think that's a cup right there, so I can save this for uh, pasta primavera. Yeah, this looks like. <laughs> All right. Looks like I did perfect. This is going to be just right. This is going to come out to a cup exactly. I don't need to use this other mushroom. So I chopped it up good for pasta. I'm not pasta bean. You know what? Uh, 
wow, I'm a little short. And I did cut back on the onions. You know what? Go ahead and go for this mushroom. <laughs> and then it'll be perfect. All right, perfect. It's a cup. So I'll go ahead and, and throw that in here. Yeah. So it's a... Uh, I've got celery, mushrooms, and onions in here. Let's see I, what else I need to do. Oh, I need to chop up the chicken. I need one cup of chopped, cooked chicken or any meat. It can be pork, shrimp, or whatever, but I'm going to use chicken because that's what I've got. Yeah, it's cooled off quite a bit now. So let's just go ahead and this looks like it'll make about a cup. The chicken that I made. Yep, it cooked really nice. I think it would be important for me to chop this up pretty fine for this recipe to taste good. Alright, here we go. So I'll make sure I do that. Make it nice and small. As you can see, I'm kind of like chopping it pretty fine here. I'm finding when you use chicken breasts in Asian recipes, you usually want to go thin and small. Um, Especially chicken breast tends to be a little dry, so... Looks like this will be a nice cup of meat here. And cooking it in the broth. I actually think I'm going to... The recipe says to use a, a quarter cup of oil. It also says to use sesame seeds for garnish. I do not have sesame seeds. I did have some, but I, Jesus told me to throw out all my expired food, so that's gone. It was like seven-year-old sesame seeds. Probably not even safe to eat. The oil's probably rancid. So um, I'm gonna. The way I'm gonna give it a nice set, and not all egg food young recipes require sesame seeds, but this particular recipe does. So, um, to, in order to give it a sesame flavor, I'm just going to fry it in sesame oil. I think I'm going to use one eighth of a cup, though, or maybe even less, because what I'm going to do, I want to use a little less oil to make it less fattening, but the, the, the pan that I used to cook the chicken in, I'm going to use that same, it's got leftover chicken broth in it. I'm just going to go ahead and cook the egg foo young in that, and I think it'll give it a nice flavor. And they'll let, you know, just cook it in the leftover drippings. And then I'll use less oil so it won't be as fattening, but it'll still have a nice flavor to it. And, and then there'll be enough water in there to cook it. I think it required a quarter cup of oil just to make sure you thoroughly cook the egg. All right, let's see. Yeah. This, that looks like about pretty good here. Okay, let's go see how much we got here. Looks like I've got plenty. Yep, just about right. Okay. Like I said, I'm doubling the recipe. This is good. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and add that to the uh, mixture there. This is good. Yeah, that, that breast tastes good. So, alright, this should be pretty tasty, my men should enjoy this, they get to eat everything I make. This recipe calls for two cups of bean sprouts, this is canned bean sprouts, it might be better with fresh bean sprouts, but I didn't have fresh bean sprouts, so let's go ahead and use. I won't be using all of this, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the, <laughs> with the extra. Okay, there's one cup, another cup, because I'm doubling the recipe. That, one of the reasons I'm doubling the recipe is because I wanted to use more celery and more bean sprouts. You know what? I can use it all. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and use it all. Yeah, use it all. That way I don't waste it. Well, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a lot of egg foo young, man. I, I wonder if I got enough egg for this. Look at this. Look at all that. 
All right, let's go. Let's mix all this together. Mix it all together. You said, boy, you're going to need a lot of egg. Yeah. Mix it all together. Yeah, you don't chop the bean sprouts. You leave them intact. That's the point of egg foo young. Yep. Okay. This looks like it's going to be good. I'm in the mood for Chinese today. <laughs> Except I'm not going to make it quite as fattening as the recipe calls for. I'm not using a quarter cup of oil. I'm going to substitute with by cooking it in the same pan that I cooked the... Uh, and you, I'll use maybe... A little less sesame oil. This looks like it'll be good. Let's just go ahead and mix this all up. Now I gotta get my, some eggs. I think I used six eggs for this. You see, you didn't use all your chicken. Yeah, I could maybe use that for sand or just eat it plain. It looks good just the way it is. But I needed some cooked chicken for uh, for this recipe. All right, there we go. All right, let's get ready. Let's let's go on to the next step. Okay, I need to scram, crack these and scramble them. I'm not sure this is large enough, but there's a nice sharp edge there for me to crack them. <laughs> you know what? I could stick them in here. Yeah, when I'm done. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just need a sharp edge to crack them. Just need a sharp edge to crack them. Okay, let's go ahead and crack these eggs. There's one. It will be big enough. Five, six. Get this egg off. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's make sure I don't have any yet. I actually find that the best way to scramble eggs is with a fork. I just go boom, 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 like that. Uh, this is my best way of doing it. <laughs> I could use that too, but this seems to work the best for me. So let's just go ahead. Then you're going to add, the recipe says to add a teaspoon of salt. I can see why it wants some salt, so I'm going to have to put a little bit of salt in here. I don't know if I'm going to put in quite a teaspoon, but um, that's because the chicken broth that I used is pretty salty, so I think I'm just going to kind of guesstimate this. I'll use my little, uh, here, throw some of this in here. See, that's not a teaspoon. Yeah, I know. Actually, two teaspoons because I doubled the recipe. Enough to give it some flavor. That's good. And if it's done, it does need some salt, you know. <laughs> so I'm, I figure uh, if it's not salty enough, they can add salt on when they eat it. <laughs> I prefer to undersalt than oversalt. But it, obviously, it's going to need a little bit of salt, so. Or else it's going to taste really yucky, you know. No flavor, so. Lori using her brain control on me giving me arm aches today. Ha <laughs> ha. 
And then I've got to mix it all up in there. And that's where this whisk might come in handy. Let me see how the whisk works. Nah, the whisk doesn't work as good. The fork is better. It might work good in here, though. All right, let's see. I'm kind of treating it like I do a mixing bowl, like when I made cake before. <laughs> Could you use a bit of a bigger? Okay, that's pretty good here. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Um, Okay, I'm heating up the pan, the same one that I used to cook the uh, chicken. I think it'll give it a nice flavor because I plan on cutting back a little bit. There's some olive oil in here. He said, I never heard of making egg free young with olive oil. Well, I'll do something new. I think it's going to give it a nice chicken flavor. Yeah, it's going to be really good. There's some nice, and since I cut back a little bit on the salt and the eggs, this is going to be good. Yeah. I'm sure I got these eggs real good here. Yeah. Okay, so what I need to do now here are the instructions. See what I'm going to do now is beat eggs with the salt, add to the filling ingredients just before frying. Goodness, Let's see if I need more light here. And then heat, and I'm going to put this uh, recipe in my uh, website. Heat an electric or flying, I don't have an electric, front. I'll just guess. Pour in the oil. Okay, so, okay, I gotta, I'm going to have to cook all of these right now. So let's just go ahead and add it to the filling ingredients just before frying. What I'm doing right now, I just added the egg. Just added the egg in there. Yep, let's go ahead and mix that all together. Okay. And then, ladle mixture into pan to form small patties. Fry. Oh, I've got a ladle. That's perfect. Let's get. I think I'm going to use a little ladle. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, that dumb phone. Let me turn it off. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw in a little bit of sesame oil because I don't have sesame seeds. Sesame oil will give it a nice flavor. going to kind of mix in with the, uh, yeah, that's good. I'm not going to use as much oil as the recipe says. Okay, and I'm using a little ladle. Okay, let's go ahead and cook that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think it's hot enough. <laughs> It'll probably still be good. Oh, yeah. Get it a little hotter. Yep. I don't have an electric skillet, so I have to guesstimate here. Let me get a uh, plate ready to put it on. I need to cook them all because I've got an egg in there. I can add more oil as I need it. Fry about two minutes, turn over and fry three minutes more. Adjust temperature as needed. White pan clean and repeat process using more oil as needed until all patties are fried. 
Yeah, about two minutes, eh? <laughs> Just got to make sure I cook the eggs good. The chicken's already cooked, so. Looks like I needed a clean pan. I'll have to remember that for the, I'm going to wash the pan and do it over because it's going to, flipping this is not going to be easy. Yeah, I can see that. Now, actually, it's not cooked yet. Let's, let's let it cook some more. Yeah, I need a clean pan. Yep, that, that's it. Because it's not, it needs to kind of like form a... Yeah, that's the chicken kind of gooey on the bottom, so it's not working out too good. So I need a clean pan. Yeah, this is going to cook some more. Yep. What I'm going to do is cook this batch, wash the pan, and then cook the rest. I need a clean pan. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made this. I think I know a little trick. The egg needs to cook a little bit more, too. I'm going to go like this. Oh, it's not too bad. There we go. Lower the heat just a bit. Yep. Definitely need a clean pan. Yeah, I have another pan I can use. I think I'm just going to lower the heat. And that one's got a smoother surface and probably would do better with this. I bet it'll taste good though. Let's just go ahead and get this batch done. I bet it's going to taste good, though. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're going to use a different pan. Yeah. It's... Use a different pan. This pan. It's been a while since I've made this, so I kind of forgot. <laughs> it's still not bad, though. Okay. Let's use a different pan. This pan's gonna this pan's got a smoother surface and it'll probably work better. I didn't use quite as much oil as the recipe required. This didn't look too bad. You know? I bet it'll taste good. <laughs> so um let me just go ahead and uh let it heat up a bit. It needs to be about I kind of figured out where it needs to be, about eight or nine on that. About eight or nine. Okay, so let's. Yeah. That's about right. The recipe says to use quite a bit of oil. And I imagine that would make it fry better, but but I just don't want to get too fat on me here. That will work. That will work. We got a pretty clean. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and ladle some more in here. Yeah, this is better. Probably not quite as much. A little bit higher, huh? Oh, 
Okay. Smaller pan. It'll probably brown better now. Let me see if I can clean this spatula a little bit. Yep. My favorite spatula. <laughs> Get some of the crud off, crud off of it. Yeah, about two minutes on one side, then we flip it. Kind of like cooking pancakes in a way. <laughs> Except you use a little bit more oil than pancakes. Actually, that's kind of interesting looking, you know? <laughs> I bet it's going to taste good. Oh. Yeah. And then I'll put it over there on my presentation table. The recipe says about two minutes, but I wanted to, I've, I'm not, not, I don't have an electric fry pan and I'm not sure I have the temperature quite right. So I got to cook it enough so I feel like it's going to brown good on one side, you know. Uh, kind of like making pancakes in a way. <laughs> Not quite, but kind of similar concept in the way you cook it, you know. Yeah, this one's definitely doing better. Let's see here. Browning nicely. A little bit too high. Let's uh, cut this one up. Yeah, that's one advantage of not having an electric fryer. I bet it'll still taste good though. Yeah. I have to guesstimate here. Looks like putting it about seven or eight on this dough is perfect. The temperature is a little too high, but um, I bet it'll still taste good. Yeah, it's going to be crispy and nice, and then I can put it in the oven when uh. You know, I bet it's a little soggier than it should be because I use canned bean sprouts. If I was using fresh bean sprouts, it would probably be better, but you know. That's okay. Yeah, I bet it's going to taste good. That's the main thing. And it will be nutritious, too. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not using as much oil as the recipe requires either. <laughs> so, when you use more oil, you get better browning effect. I just don't want to get too fat, you know. All right, let's just go ahead and cook the last batch. All right, got one more batch to cook. Gonna have to add some more oil. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Lower the heat. A little bit. The heat's a little too high. That's the problem. It needs to lower the heat. Lower the heat. Go down. Go down. Go down. Alright. I can tell it's a little too high. Okay. Oh, actually that heat's doing pretty good. Maybe it was the right heat. Maybe I didn't have the heat high enough. Actually, I'm going to just throw it all in here. <laughs> just kind of spread it out and then break it up. Yeah. Yeah, 
break it up into four quadrants. Alright. I bet it's going to be delicious. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this to go the other way. There. Okay, let's check it out now. Yeah, it needs to cook a little bit more. This side seems to be cooking more. I when it's, it's kind of like a pancake when it's ready to flip then it's ready to flip now this side looks ready to flip Nah, let's let it cook a little bit longer oh that's perfect yep yep but this side's not cooking Little patties. All right. Okay. We're gonna cook it some more. Then I have to make a gravy that I pour over this. So <laughs> now that looks a little bit better. It's been a while since I've made this, so. But I wanted to find a way to use the celery and the eggs because I needed to use the eggs, and yeah. And by, by cooking it in sesame oil, it's going to have a nice sesame flavor so that even though I don't, don't have the sesame seeds, it'll still work. Okay, it's still going. I think it's about ready to be added to this plate. I doubled it, so I'll have leftovers for tomorrow. Let me see here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. Let's go ahead and uh, turn the heat off. Then I'm going to make the gravy next. The gravy you pour over it. Reminds me of some weird pancakes. <laughs> Chinese style pancakes. Well, you made plenty. Yep. Because I wanted to use up all those bean sprouts. That might be why it was a little bit too gooey, but it's, it'll still be good. <laughs> it'll still be good. Okay. Look at that pile. <laughs> yeah. It'll look better once I'm going to make some gravy. It didn't quite look like the picture in the recipe. Um, it's probably because I didn't use because I use canned bean sprouts and that made it a little too liquidy. Okay, for the gravy, what I'm doing is here's the uh, cornstarch and I added a little bit of water. Let me add some more water because I find that when you add cornstarch to any sort of mi Asian mixture, it helps if you kind of mix it around first in water. That way, it spreads better once it gets in the mixture. Yeah, that's good. All right. Go ahead and throw it in here. There, that's good. Just keep mixing it. You can see there's a... Okay. Let's see what else i got to throw in here. And then I gotta put in uh, mirin and soy sauce. Mirin. I'm just gonna guesstimate here. I'm only making enough for one because because uh, I don't really like the gravy too much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use a little bit. Mirin. That's mirin. 
and then some soy sauce. Get a new bottle of soy sauce here. Oh, that's enough. I'll just finish up the bottle. Okay, now we just go ahead and stir this over here on this heated stove back, back here until it starts thickening. Actually, yeah. Okay, there's the gravy. Let me see if I can, let me bring the, take the camera off because you can't really see it this way. There it is. I'm gonna put this as a side dish and they can pour it over the, um, the uh, egg foo young if they want it. Clock got me this and it's gonna come in real handy for the gravy. Just pour it right in there. Yep, and what you do is you eat the egg foo young when you pour some of the gravy over however much you want. So, yeah. Okay. Apparently this is how the Chinese eat it. <laughs> Let me try it without the gravy and see how it tastes. Mmm, this is good. It tastes better than it looks. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Um, with the gravy, it might be better. I'm going to leave that as I'm going to. I'm preparing the gravy right now, but everything that's on this table, my men are able to bring over to uh, Church of Gale. Mmm, it's good. It's good. There's some gravy over here that you put on top of the egg for young, and it's as you can see a little bit of it. Let me see how this tastes now with the gravy. Uh, Mmm, this is good. This is good. Tastes really Chinese. <laughs> Oops, no. Now this is good. And just the right amount of salt, too. Mmm, good. Yep, tastes real Chinese. It's good. It tastes better than it looks. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um... So, I'm thinking I'm meat tonight. I need to. I've got some. Uh, I've got some chicken there. Probably I'll make a vegetable side if I have time. Maybe I'll make something simple. Just yeah. Anyways, the egg foo young is good. Mmm, it's good. The gravy. Let me show you the gravy. Um. Oh. Right there. That's good. All right. I'm going to turn off my camera, the other camera. Amen.